Yeah, boy. We finally have a trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong. This is a movie I've been looking forward to for a while. And I'll tell you what, the fact that I have to watch it on my TV screen via HBO Max really bums me out. It sucks. I mean, this is a monster movie. A big monster movie at that. It's the fight of the century. A literal clash of the titans. This movie deserves to be seen on a big theatrical screen. As we have it, though, I'm gonna be stuck watching it here at home. I don't know. God willing, theaters will be open in LA by late March, but I don't know. But hey, you know what? At least we get to watch it now, right? Let's talk about this movie that's coming. First off, that poster is awesome. It's a really cool teaser. I love the colors. And Kong certainly looks bigger here than he did in Kong Skull Island. Super cool. All right, now let's talk about this trailer. So this trailer starts out apparently with Mecha Godzilla. I looked in the YouTube comments and some people were like, oh yeah, in the first five seconds, you see Mecha Godzilla. And I had to frame by frame it. I was like, Holy shit, I think that is Mecha Godzilla. Cause you see this Godzilla looking thing tromping a city, but I was like, there are lights coming from it. It looks kind of robotic. I don't think that's our friendly neighborhood Godzilla. And then you think back to the post credit scene in Godzilla King of the Monsters, where Alan Jonah was looking at that Ghidra head. He's like, I'll take it. I personally thought that was heading towards Mecha Ghidra. I don't know, maybe he's gonna try doing Godzilla first. But then we see that Kong is being brought over to the mainland from Skull Island and the voiceover is going, we need Kong, the world needs him. Okay. So why does the world need Kong now all of a sudden? As far as we know, Kong has been chilling on Skull Island for decades, if not centuries. You get the feeling that this is the first time he's ever leaving his homeland. I think it's because people think now that Godzilla has turned on mankind. You know what it is? Maybe it's that Mega Godzilla. Maybe it has like a cloaking device or not cloaking, but like something that makes it look like actual Godzilla. So people will think that Godzilla has turned on mankind when in reality, it's just a big robot. This is so ridiculous. I don't know. It's just a theory. That's where my brain goes. So they're talking about Kong. You see Rebecca Hall from Iron Man 3. They're talking about how the only person that Kong gets along with these days is this little kid, who I'm guessing is also a native from Skull Island. Kong has always had this kind of bond with humanity, you know, that Godzilla just doesn't have. I mean, sure, Godzilla fights for the humans, but Kong can be like, friends with them, you know? He emotionally connects with them. As we saw in Kong Skull Island when he rescued Mason from drowning. So all right, Kong is being brought over to the mainland, but then their trip is cut a little short. Godzilla. There goes Tokyo, go, go, Godzilla! Yup, here comes Gojira to fuck shit up! I love this so much, just the Titan Godzilla and the Titan Kong, and Kong just straight up slugs him in the face. Oh my god, it's so glorious. I swear to god, my TV screen, as nice as it is, just does not do it justice. I love seeing Godzilla just crawl up onto that aircraft carrier. Although I will say, I don't like the song they use here. You hear this rap song? Actually, the music kind of sounds like the music from the Black Panther trailer. That's what it reminded me of anyway. But then you hear this rap song going, and I'm like, I just, I don't know, it doesn't match. I don't think any of the other trailers for any of the other MonsterVerse movies we got used any rap songs. For me anyway, it just kind of killed the vibe. So I have to admit that did kind of bring this trailer a little bit down for me. Just a trailer though, I mean, the movie itself still looks awesome. I mean, these fights, they look so good. Honestly, yeah, they do look better than the fights in Godzilla King of the Monsters where it was all dingy and cloudy and rainy. This trailer, I don't think I'm seeing any rain. Nah, these big monster scenes look pretty clear, which is great. I mean, not that I didn't like the fight scenes in Godzilla King of the Monsters. I thought they were badass. I'm just saying the fight scenes in this movie might just top them. Might. We see that Kyle Chandler is back from Godzilla King of the Monsters and his line that he says here, Godzilla's out there and he's hurting people and we don't know why. Yeah. It really does make it look like Godzilla has turned on mankind. But why he would do that, I don't know. I'm trying to think. I've been sitting here for the past like minute not saying a word. I, I cut in between, but I've just been standing here thinking of why Godzilla would turn and I can't come up with Jack. Yeah, I got nothing. So again, I'm gonna go back to my theory about Mecha Godzilla here. Maybe it has a device that makes it look like regular Godzilla. And so Mecha Godzilla is like framing Godzilla. And maybe Mecha Godzilla could be like the common enemy that Godzilla and Kong eventually team up to fight. Like I've seen some fan theories out there. Some people are saying, oh yeah, it's gonna be Godzilla versus Kong at first, but then eventually by the end, they're gonna team up to fight some bigger threat. And so maybe Mecha Godzilla could be that threat. But I don't know, cause the trailer promises us that one will fall, as does the poster and as does the director. He said, yeah, there will be a winner and a loser in this Godzilla versus Kong fight. I don't know if one of them is gonna die or not. I mean, in King of the Monsters, there was a Mothra versus Rodan fight and Mothra won that fight, but Rodan did still live at the end of that movie. So maybe one of these two could be just 
defeated but not killed. I don't know though. Again, theorizing. I gotta be honest though, as much as I like Godzilla, and I love Godzilla, I gotta say it was Kong who stole the trailer for me. I love seeing all the Kong stuff. You hear about this great war that Rebecca Hall is talking about, and you see Kong swinging this what looks like a swooping evil from Fantastic Beast and swing it into another one. That was completely awesome. In fact, that was probably the prettiest shot in this entire trailer to me. And I gotta say, of the three MonsterVerse movies we've gotten so far, Godzilla, Kong Skull Island, and Godzilla King of the Monsters, I gotta say, Kong Skull Island is my favorite. I watched it yesterday for the first time, I think since theaters, and I gotta admit, I, I think it really holds up. I just think it's really good. It just cut to the chase and gave me what I wanted, and then some. Plus, it was the most brutal. So I gotta say, for this movie, this fight of the century, I am Team Kong. Yep, I'm rooting for the big ape. However, I am questioning Rebecca Hall's line here. There was a war. And they're the last one standing. But they're not the last one standing though, right? Because again, look at the end of Godzilla King of the Monsters. Godzilla defeated Ghidra in glorious manner, and then all these other monsters came to Godzilla and they bowed to him, so there are other monsters in the world. Godzilla and Kong are not the last ones standing. Unless Kong or Mecha Godzilla or whoever killed all these other monsters off screen or something, which would suck. But that's honestly why I think Godzilla and Kong are fighting in this movie. Because Godzilla is a king. He is the king of the monsters. He earned that title after defeating Ghidra. So all these other monsters are bowing to him, but according to this trailer, Kong bows to no one. So I imagine Godzilla's gonna be like, um, you have to bend the knee, dude. You're not gonna bend the knee? Oh, you're not loyal to me? Okay, I'm gonna fight you now. Prepare to taste some atomic fire. And from Kong's side, you know, he's been the king of his own island for decades, if not centuries. So he's gonna be like, um, I'm used to being king. Who are you? You're not my king, I'm the king. So this movie is a clash of the kings. It's gonna be fun to watch. It's gonna be destructive as hell. The writing could suck. I'm not gonna lie, after the writing did suck in Godzilla King of the Monsters. And honestly, there's been bad writing all over this MonsterVerse, the first Godzilla movie, and even in Kong Skull Island. So I wouldn't be surprised if there were some instances of bad writing in this movie too. But you know, we're not here for the writing. We're here for Godzilla vs. Kong, and guess what? We have Godzilla vs. Kong in this trailer, so we're gonna get Godzilla vs. Kong in this movie. I don't know how many big fight scenes we're gonna get, I just hope the human characters are written well in this movie, because again, in Kong Skull Island, I thought they were written pretty well. That's one of the reasons I like it so much. In the Godzilla movies we got in the MonsterVerse, I did not think they were written so well. And it's just my opinion. So in this movie, I don't know, it could go either way. I'll be honest, this movie could be bad. However, I am not counting on it. I think the fights in this movie are gonna steal it. I mean, obviously. You know what I mean though, right? This movie's just gonna be here to be fun. And the fun in this movie, I am 100% sure is going to kick ass. In the end, I really dug this trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong, aside from the song they use. I, I think that really undercut it. But other than that though, visually this trailer is just all sorts of glorious. So the official trailer for Godzilla vs. Kong. Have you watched it yet? What do you think about it? Are you looking forward to this movie? And whose side are you on? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.